Uh, of course, the men's T20, the World Cup's firing up. It's the West Indies and USA. It's on Prime. And you've come in with these beautiful boxes. Thank you very much, mate. The same to please, boys. I know NRL boys love a freebie, so yeah. oh, you yeah. have to come oh. in with something. Oh, yeah. You, you, oh, what? You're, you're, you're cricketers. I've you're met cricketers, so though. many NRL boys. I'll tell you what, you're the tightest boys I've ever met. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because we don't get paid as much as oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I've met some of the well-paid ones, too. Now, um, you were in New York. Yes. How was it? Unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, I've... I've gone to US a lot and I've been to New York a few times, never for cricket. Never in my life did I think I was going to yeah. go to New York City, be there for cricket, watching people with like cricket jerseys walk around all over Times Square and you know getting stopped in New York for photos and what it's a bizarre feeling because I can go to US and New York and you know unless you're a cab driver or or like you know someone from England visiting, no one really knows who I am. Yeah, I can just yeah, get through, yeah. but it was a, it's a different vibe out there at the moment. It's really cool. Did the did the Yanks get around it, do you think? When they when they won, they did. Yeah. You should have seen them because I was at Times Square. I was doing some interviews for Amazon Prime, and I pulled out one guy, and he was like, "Oh, do you know anything about cricket?" He's like, "No." I'm like, "Oh well." And he's like, "No, I do know one thing." I was like, "What's that?" He's like, "We just beat you know Pakistan yesterday," <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, so you do know something?" <laughs> it was hilarious because it was it was plastered all over their social media. So like yeah. ESPN put it up, and all these different social pages were putting wow. it up because like Americans love winning. Yeah, they beat one of the best teams in the world. So. They're going to use it. Uzi, is there a um, cricket scene over there, like a, a local cricket yeah, stuff? Yeah, a big one in Texas. Huge. Texas? Yeah, huge, huge. huge. And that's where the head main headquarters of um, USA Cricket are. They have a ground there that they converted a minor league stadium into a major, like the, a major league cricket stadium, what they call now, Yeah. over there. Um, that's where the main infrastructure is. Uh, they do a bit of work, I think, outside of Florida too. But there's a, it's a massive league in... Um, in Dallas and they actually get players from overseas. They, they pay them. It's like they, they pay them to come over. So I think Martin Gupta was there. I think Chris Lynn's been yeah. there. Like a few other guys have gone over and played. It's they're, they're like minor leagues. They're like yeah. what we call in England, like, um, like league cricket in England, like below County. Oh wow. But, that, 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 I mean, Pretty league cricketers still get paid too. So people go over in England in league cricket and get paid. It's the same thing here. So he's so. going to fly. Like, I know that everyone talks about the baseball, the conversion there. Um, but is it gonna fly? Like, it's enough people there for it to fly. Yeah, I mean, let me put let me put the stats in for you. Like, there's 350 million US yes. people in US. We have 27 million. The expat population just in the US, so the Indian, Pakistani, um, Sri Lankan, Bangladeshi, is eight percent. That's 30 million. 30 million. Oh, wow. So even if you get half of them, yeah, you probably get more. But even if you get half of them. That's 15 million right there. And then you add a few new people to watch it, like, you know, the, the old Yanks. Yeah, you get yeah, them yeah. involved. Um, the population is so huge. They, they, more people will be watching there than what, what they will be watching in Australia, just yeah. based, purely based on population. That's why American sports get paid so much. It's yeah, population-based, yeah. right? We're 27 million. Uh, we have a lot smaller market. They have a huge market, and some of their games are international overseas. So it's, it's all about numbers. Were you over there for the uh, NBA? Were you there for You know what? I had uh, I had like a uh, contact to try to help me out to get into Madison Square Garden in yeah. New York and the Knicks were up 3-2 and I'm thinking, you beauty, oh, here we yeah, go, yeah. was he? Madison Square Garden, <laughs> baby. Oh, <laughs> talk about someone wants freebies. <laughs> yeah, oh, come on. Oh, no, not freebies. I just want to watch a game. Yeah, yeah. I actually, funnily enough, I didn't get there because they lost 4-3. They ended up losing 4-3. Yeah, yeah. But I have been to, a, I've been to heaps of games before, but I actually went to a New York Clippers game and Talk about freebie, no freebie. I paid, I think it was like four grand a ticket to sit oh. courtside. Oh. I was like, I, mean, I don't know if I'll ever do this again. Yeah. This yeah. was like 10 years ago. And I paid a lot of money and I sat there and uh, they were just playing. And this girl sits next to me and she's like, you know, she's getting all these photos taken and what's going on here? And my, you know, it was my ex-girlfriend at the time. She was sitting next to me and she was like, oh my God, that's Chloe Kardashian. No, oh. I had no idea. I'm like, who's Chloe? She's like, Kim's sister. I'm like, oh, I know who Kim is. Okay, yeah. right. And because her husband, Lamar Odom, was uh, playing. He was playing for the Clippers at the That's time. That's right. So, yeah, it's, it's things that happen in the was US. Was he just kn knocking around courtside with the Kardashians? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. I've never seen it. A, just, never it just works, doesn't it? Yeah, it I've works. I've never heard a league doing that. What's your, what's, your, what's, your, um, what's your hierarchy for the American sports? Myself, my yeah. personal. Uh, basketball. Yeah. NFL baseball. Yeah. I think you should be ba it used to be – Baseball before NFL, but I really got into NFL. All those documentaries, I'm not even trying to plug Prime, but documentaries mm. you see on Prime and other places, it's like, it really just, I, I find NFL documentaries the most exciting to watch. Yeah. I just love them.
Big budget too. The production budget's massive. Yeah, there's I think the game's just very good for TV. Yeah. It just it's, it comes out on TV really well. Well, the commentators are good. Yeah. Everything what about is. yourself? You've started in the docker. Yeah. Uh, the test came out on Amazon Prime. Amazing documentation of the World Test Championship. Uh, Ollie Robinson, of course. Uh, he got uh, carded 43 <laughs> off and over in county cricket. But just what's it like to watch that? You're obviously the star of that episode. The first episode, Brian, and you need to watch it. Amazon I watched the Prime first one. Oh, you have? I watched the first one. Yep. I missed the second one. Yep. No, no, the, you need to watch the first episode of the, of the third. third series. Yeah. It, it's clearly the best. It's, it's unbelievable. Is this the one where you get abused? We all get abused, but yes, I get abused. Is this yep. the, the yep. members? Yeah, yeah. In, in yeah. The, uh, what they episode two, that'd be, I reckon. Episode two. Yeah. I've only seen the, the highlights. Did they swear at you? <laughs> or they just, or were they, because they, they all look yes, prim and right. proper. Yeah, they, were, they all look prim and proper. They were definitely, yeah, that's funny. They're normally prim. You normally walk out there and they're like clapping, like, yes. here, here. And then you walk. Well done, old chap. You get a duck and they you come back and they're still clapping. You're like, here, here, old chap. Bad yeah. luck, bad luck. Yeah, and, and you're like, well, I mean, I, I feel bad I got a duck, but thanks for the clap, boys. Like, it's, they were always very hospitable to us. It was it was really bizarre. And it's great. They, they get stuck into him. So he gets off the bus. And who, the crowd? It was, no, it was, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's the first off, game. <laughs> and they get into him. It wasn't a not a, it wasn't it was I was walking to the nets because yeah. to walk to the nets you have to go out of the ground because the nets aren't in the ground yeah ha- they're like a 100 meters walk so you have wow. to walk through the people like walking through the concourse to get to the nets so I was walking through the people and getting sprayed wow yeah yeah so you have to actually walk through the people that's and, what it is so i mean is that one of your most fulfilling moments coming off conquering that the pressure you're under or is there another moment that you look back and go no nah, that was it um no, that was probably one of my favourite ones. I mean, if you ask my favourite century is probably the Sydney stuff when I came yeah. back in Sydney, the twin centuries. But I mean, I was getting sprayed. I was getting sprayed off the field. I was getting like nailed by press, and it was annoying because I was the highest run scorer in the world, but I was yeah. still getting nailed. Yeah. And I was like, it, that's what really annoyed me. I'm like, you guys just forgot about everything. And then the, the palms were always going to sledge me, so I was like copying it. I was actually that. I don't think they got on video on the way back. I was copying again. Then I went out a couple of them. Um, this was on the way back walking from there. So it was getting a little bit heated. And then, yeah, to get actually get 100 in that game oh, there was just so satisfying. That's why I just threw the bat. Yeah. So I celebrating because I didn't really know what to do. I'm just, and I was pumped. I was so pumped. Who did you who did you model your game on? Like as a kid coming through, who, who was the player that Usman Khawaja wanted to be? I wanted to be Brian Lara, yeah. but I don't think I'm – I'm like Brian Lara. And when I wanted, I had the big back lift and I used to copy him. But then as I got older, I realized I just had to be myself. I mean, my buying mechanics are different than Lara's, yeah. whatever, the way, you know, how he moves and all that. So I'm like, I love Lara and then I love Gilchrist. They're my two favorite lefties, mm-hmm. always lefties. But I decided I'm just going to bat like myself. But it says sometimes you get a pull shot here and there, you yeah, get a yeah, bit yeah. of BC Lara there. So <laughs> we, we have a term, up. Brian, called bruising, right? Where, where yes. we name drop. And I'm, I'm about to bruise. So I played golf with Brian Lara one day. Yeah. And. You said he was a lefty, and I couldn't believe it. I, I recognised he was playing right. He was right hand. David Warner does the same thing. Does he do the same thing? Yeah. So when we were young, this I was only lucky. My we I didn't get to play golf in a course until I was like nineteen properly until I got my first rookie contract. It's an expensive game. We couldn't really yeah. afford it. But my dad actually sawed off a really like a seven iron. They sawed it off for me a left hander one. Wow. And, gave, and I used to hit at the driving range a lot with him, muck around. So that's how I started hitting lefty. But Davey, much like. All of us lefties growing up, there wasn't really any left-handed oh. clubs for kids growing up. Yeah. So the only thing Davey could get was a right-handed one. So he just had to hit right-handed. Oh. So then that's why Brian Lara and all these older players that actually bat left-handed, they'll you'll see they'll play golf right-handed because yeah. of that reason. Well, he told the story that he was, and what triggered my thought was you were talking about you being the number one run scorer in the world, which I can't imagine what that'd feel like. Mm. He was the same at the time, and the West Indies cricket board were, and this is what he told me, were, were paranoid that he was seeing him so well. They banned him from playing golf. But he said... It helps him. He, he said, well, what if I play right-handed? They said, Don't go for <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Does it help, Uzi? Does, it, does I, golf I, help? I think any hand and eye, hand and eye coordination helps. They're, they're two very different swings. Yeah. But I felt, that's why I love playing tennis. I think it's a great hand and eye. And actually, Brian Lara, well, when I, like, talking to him in between... Uh, like when I got dropped in 2019, he said he loved playing table tennis in between. Oh, he said yeah. he table tennis got his feet working, got his hands and eyes working. So I think there's there oh, is right. something about Did it. Did you reach out to him or he reached out to you? Uh, I to him. Oh, right. And he was happy to chat? Yeah, he was great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. You can yeah. lean on someone like that. I think all uh, past cricketers are very good. If you're respectful to them, yeah. 
they're always willing to share some of their knowledge. I think they're really good. Well, Joel, I want to ask you a question because when we were, Joel and I, when we were playing, there was no social media or anything like that. Do you guys, and I'm just thinking about the, the rugby league kids now who sometimes get DMs and stuff that's not, if they have a bad game or something. Mm. Do you guys get taught or advice on how to handle social media? Yeah, don't look at it. Yeah, right. Is that, is I'm that... on social media all the time, but I don't really look at the comments all the time. No. And when I'm on, when I'm playing cricket during this, like right now I'll look at cricket news yeah. and I'll be involved, but when I'm playing cricket, I just don't even no. look at it. There's, there's nothing they can tell me that I don't already know. Yeah. So why would I read well, Even when I score runs, I don't look at it. No. So I'm not going to score looking at it when I score runs. I'm not going to look at it when I don't score runs. It's just even. But I'm, I'm sure there kill. would be players who do. Who 100% do, do yeah. but... It, Straight after they after the game. There's some players you can. I feel like they can do it, and it doesn't really affect them as much. Mm. It depends on your personality. Like I reckon, Amanus could look at it. He just loves knowing things. I don't really think he'll fuss him too much. No, it'll phase you a little bit. You're human, but yeah. I think some people just are better at it than others. And I was like, when I was growing up, I used to get really. I was the same. I used to get really riled up about it. social media, yeah. Twitter, whatever it might be. And I was like, why am I reading this? So yeah. I was like, I'm still going to communicate with my fans and reach out to them. I got to be honest. They're, the guys on social media now are pretty good to me. I'm, I'm, all my fans are pretty good, but yeah. there's still times where I'll just during the during a test summer or whatnot, I might just disengage a little bit just because yeah. I don't need that. What a brutal sport, though, Brian. Like we could play, and both of us could knock on in the first set, and you're still allowed to come out and get yeah. out of the match. You guys make that one mistake, and it's oh. like go and throw some zinc cream. On Opening's the worst too. Oh. Opening's the worst because you come oh. out day one, yeah. and you go Nick first one, oh, <laughs> walk off the field, and you're like, and then you're just sitting down all day having toasties yeah, and ninety right. overs. You're oh, like, hey. what am I doing with my life? Like seriously, Uzi, is it true? I I think I heard Michael Slater, or was it Michael Slater? Or might have been Michael Clark, one of the two, saying when they're facing a really fast bowler, it's just instinct. When the ball comes out, so is it just. How, how, sometimes you don't see the ball the, coming The best out. way I explain to people is I get cues off bowlers at the point of release and before they've just even released it. And I don't even know. It's just you do it so many times over your yeah. life and get it. So the easiest way is if the bowler releases it from there, mm. it's a bouncer. Bowler releases from there, it's a good length ball. If the bowler releases it from there, it's, oh, wow. it's a full ball. I don't... I don't really see it, but my brain calculates yeah. this all because I can pick up the length very quickly of a ball. That's like the first thing I pick up is length. So have you always had that skill, or is that yeah, you, I, learn, you I, learn that? I, my brothers, I I was always better against pace than spin ground because my ball, my father, my brothers were ten years older than me and seven yeah. years older than me, and they used to bump the crap out of me. Yeah, going, yeah. I just bounces all the time. That's all they bowled to me. Yeah. So I got used to get. I used to hate it as a kid, and then I got used to good. Got better at hitting pull shots. I got better at picking length, and then. I mean, that's where all good players are fast bowlers. I think they can see those cues oh, okay. before they've come down. But they, we don't actually realize we're doing it, but we are doing it. Like all the greats, Michael Clark, Hayden, Langer, um, Ponting, they would have all done it. But because they've done it for 20 years of their life, you just it just becomes second nature. But it's not easy because it's like, that's where like, when a ball reacts off a wicket, I'm not guessing what it's doing off a wicket. I see the ball coming down. I'm like, okay, this is where it should hit my bat. Yeah. yeah. And that's where I'm – and if it does something off the wicket, then I'm like – It's not your fault. Well, I can't do anything about no, it. Can't. I can't – as soon as you start guessing – Play the percentages. Correct. As soon as you start guessing, you're gone. You're not playing the percentages. You're leaving gaps open between your bat. Like, there's so many things that can come in the, into play. Can I ask you, where's um, Archer, Joffrey Archer? What's he doing now? Uh, he's playing T20 cricket. Okay, so he's yep. he's not playing tests anymore. Not at the moment. He's had a lot of injuries. Okay. And he was, yeah, he was amazing, right? He was... Because I, I imagine that series you, couldn't was see, you couldn't see the ball coming out of... Man, he was so... He had such a high release point at, and he bowled really fast. And England... I, I tell you the worst thing. What made it hard to see Jofra's, um balls? Because the Duke balls are really dark as they are. And then you've got people sitting behind... Oh, yes. They don't have side screens. They're like oh. people sit at Lords, one of the ends. People are sitting behind you. So I'm like, some some blokes wearing like black colored yeah. uh, jacket and Joffre is bowling and there's a red color. And I was like, he can't be like. Is that, can't, is yeah. that a, a tactic by? No, no, no. It's, 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 it's for both teams. Both, oh, both teams. It's okay. just bizarre. Because they don't want to mess up the crowd's view? Is that what yeah, it is? Yeah. It's, 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 it's not all the grounds, but Lords is one of them. And, Lo and Joffre is really hard to see Lords. So the Pommies are cheating. Well, no, Say it, Uzi. It's the same for both teams. So it's Say just it. Uh, Uzi, we're taking up a lot of your time. We really appreciate it. And uh, we appreciate uh, Prime as well. For, mm. And we've got some gifts, which we'll talk about those really quickly. But what's your two bobs on the on the T20? Who do you think wins it? Where do we go wrong for Australia? Um, 
This is a big game. India and Eng- England's a big game. I think England's got a chance to beat India. I really do. Um, if England win, I don't know. I think South Africa can still pipe England. But if India win, I think oh, I think India might take it out. It's, it's, it's all a guess. Honestly, T20 is so fickle. Like, a part of me, like, I don't like South Africa winning like, in anything. Uh, yeah. But... I also feel sorry for them a little yeah. bit. Because, <laughs> don't feel sorry for them. I can't help We don't it. feel sorry for you Queenslanders. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, can we do it one more time? What? We've given up on our secret uh, movie. I reckon this Oh, he'll get it. it. Can, can we do it? Yeah, let's can do it. Can we do one so, more? I'm going to give you an audio. Okay. I reckon you'll get it. Yeah. So we're going to do an audio. All the young athletes have come through and, and our strike rate, which is making us feel quite old, they're not getting the movie. They're right. just not getting it. Oh, we don't have it. Um, that hawk. <laughs> no, not that one. Not that one. So no, there's, no. A, no. there's an. Oh, here we go. See if you can get this one. Can you get this one? No, he's not. He's gonna do. So we've been doing it to all the young. Where is it? I'm, I'm curious. Okay, okay so. Do you not have they, it? Obviously, they don't have it. But okay, cool camera. story, Hansel. No, <laughs> thanks, Olaf. That's, that's not it. No. So maybe, maybe we have deleted it. So. A, it's a, it's a comedy. Yep. And I'll 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 reenact it. Okay. He gets a knock on the door. I don't want to tell the actors because you'll get it. Yeah. And the lady, the blonde lady, the blonde lady says, "Oh, is that hair gel?" <laughs> oh, of course, I know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Debbie does Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> is that showing my age or is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, we, no, we you got it. Alive. You got it. Woogie. That's about, all I remember. Yes, Woogie. Yeah, yeah, Woogie. Yes, something about Mary. What a movie. Yes, what a movie. Movie. Thank you very much. Uh, just before you, what have you got for us? Well, you got a fire stick here. Yeah. Unbelievable well, thing. What, what's a fire stick? Mate, it's, it's, you put all your you put it in the, you put it onto the TV, then you can go through all your apps on it. Oh wow! And everything, it's unbelievable. You can plug it in anywhere you want. I actually got one at home. I actually genuinely do. And then you kind of a, we're Aussies, right? Yeah. We all drink coffee, Yeti the coffee cup. Breakfast pack. Watch the T Twenty, bro. I actually don't know what's in here, so I'm oh, curious to open this up. What's, it's a bagel. bagel. It's a bagel. It's a bagel. Yeah. Very, bagel. New, very New York of you. You got a ball? Did you? you yeah. Was, did you see me? I, I miss hit the ball straight into the lady's head today in the Today <laughs> Show. No. Have a look at it. Was yeah. that? Please tell me that lady was Carl Stefanovic. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. Carl was laughing. Though. Well, see, I don't know laughing. if you knew this, but I play Cause You Shield. Yeah. Uh, under 12s, uh, I consider my. Do you want to just go there? Yeah, I reckon just, I've heard you talk about this Causey yeah, Shield yeah, a few. You'd right. like to, like, tr- I respect that you know, but still remember it's called Causey Shield. Yeah, right. So, so take what stance. am I doing? I'm I'm t- I don't dip. have a bat, though. It's uh, one of those dreams where I don't have a bat. Give us a. Give us a yeah, play this rolled up newspaper. Mm. I'm just going to. This was my stock ball. Okay. But you're lefty. We didn't really bowl against lefties. I'll take your Cordy. Ready? Ready? Bowl me a Yorker. I'm going. Ready? Okay. Gone. Oh, no, gone. The above the great leave. Was it great leave? Great leave. Great leave. Yeah, yeah, this is great. So radio. Make it easy on me. Yeah, this is great. Right. Cord right. running through. Right. This. Okay. Right. Ready, yours? Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Stand by, stand by. Here stand by. So, listen up. I'm just coming off the short run, and I'm going to buy my stock ball, which was a leg cutter to a right hander. So this is going to be a. Oh, oh, Brian, too high, sir. Too Brian. high. Gosh, we found his money. I'm, I'm getting out. The, yeah. I'm getting out a I can't out face balls go. from four meters. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, there you go. Uh, speaking about leaving, you can leave us, and uh, we really appreciate it, mate. You are welcome Lovely. back to this program, Usman Kawaja, anytime you like. Which, uh, what about the rhyming slang? One of the one of the great rhyming slangs for charging your phone, yes. and Usman Kawaja. Yeah, I you know you've get, made it then. When I was uh, <laughs> flying, when I was doing my flying degree when I was younger, they used to call me car charger there. Did they? Yeah, it's an old one. It's so, an old one. Yeah, it's an Beautiful. old one. It's a goodie, though. It's a goodie. Good Usman on you, Kawaja, us. thank you to uh, Prime as well. It's, uh, of course, you, the mate. T20s got you covered. You can catch the test as well, Brian, at yes. T20 World Cup semifinals and the final live on Amazon Prime. Usman Kawaja, if you missed any of that chat, you can catch up on the podcast, The Run Home with Joel and Fletch. It's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Uh, we'll catch you soon. Thanks, boys. Welcome back to the Thanks Blues. Welcome back to the Blues. <laughs> no, 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 thank the you. Blues. Yeah. <laughs>